Namo Sakya Muni Buddha. Pay respects to the most vulnerable, vulnerable, and on Dhamma friends, lady and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Tam. I come from Vietnam. I am the PhD uh, student in IBSC MCU. I'm very pleased and honored to be here and uh, share about the Mahayana perspective uh, in building bees in our society. Dear everyone, in Dhamma Bala verse 5, the Buddha said that hatred never ceases by hatred. In this world, real love alone, they cease. This is an internal law. It means that hatred cannot stop by hatred. And only compassion can stop the hatred. And in this world, we are living in a law of cause and effect. Whatever we do, we will receive the effect, the results, good or bad, will react uh, with our life. <coughs> and in the Anguttara Nikaya Sutra, the Buddha also said us, I am the owner of karma. The owner of karma, karma is either warm, karma is either relative, and whatever karma I will do, good or bad, I will inherit that karma. Also, in the Matima Nikaya, the Sutra 135, the Buddha uh, told to the Venerable Supa, beings are owners of their actions. Students owners of their actions. They originate from their actions, are bound to their actions, have their actions at their refuge. It is as and thus distinguished beings as inferior or superior. We have our karma and so therefore under the Buddha wisdom all things and phenomena that occur in life has a cause and a threat. That's cause is our own doing, and we will be benefit of its results. So, war, violence, and terror too, all have their causes. As we know, nobody wants the world to happen, but why has war always exist since ancient times to now? and not so, not try to stop it. But it's erecting stronger and stronger and as one's toes. Uh, was it a cause of war, violence, and true Is it because of our karma that had been reacted? That's it due to the karma of killing, therefore, the first receipts that the Buddha taught our dust to keep the not to kill in, as the most venerable teacher Pao Kham has mentioned about the five mindfulness trainings. That's the five receipts in Buddha teachings. And uh, here, I would like to uh, share in about the first uh, receipts that in Mahayana perspective we are practicing uh, to stop war, stop uh, violence, and uh, stop uh, trouble in our daily life. Uh, it can be said that the cause of war, violence, or hatred is caused by killing. Uh, therefore, if we want to end war, violence, and trouble, 
we must end the causes. That's cause them. So what we must, uh, what must we do? In Mahayana practice, we, uh, according to Mahayana practice, we must practice three things. The first, stop killing, <laughs> and the second, uh, be very, very tolerant, and the third, releasing animals. Uh, when we can practice these three things, uh, we will reduce each three karmic uh, consequences. One, illness. Two, early death. And the third, hatred. Uh, this is the three results of uh, practicing stop, stop killing and uh, eating vegetable and releasing animals. Uh, when we practice various tourism and liberations, we will achieve three things. The first, avoid illness. The second is uh, live long. It means long life. And the third is cultivate compassion and not to and do not cause by hatred. Uh, there, when there is no hatred, there will be no world of violence. Uh, furthermore, according to Mahayana tradition, uh, the path of the Bodhisattva idols is seeking the Buddha ways and transforms mean on sentient beings uh, with an eco eco that on sentient beings can become Buddha. It means that we practice and we can become a Buddha in the future. Everyone has Buddha nature including all living beings, and all has the opportunity to become Buddhas in the future. Uh, additionally, from the Buddha perspective, all sentient beings are our parents, our relatives, uh, from many lifetimes. So eating meat means we are eating the flesh of our, of our parents and relatives. Therefore, in on Mahayana uh, scriptures, the Buddha didn't allow us to eat meat. As a practi practitioner, uh, practicing a Mahayana wife, we must be very tolerant. <laughs> Therefore, Mahayana Buddhism does not eat meat. Dear everyone, to be a beast on this beautiful planet, uh, to reduce war, violence, and hatred. We cannot just talk, but must act in, with our daily practice. As above I mentioned, is the will of Mahayana Buddhism on building beings for practicing compassion for all sentient beings. We are all equal in the right to live practice and realize Nibbana. Therefore, stop being <laughs> killing, becoming vegetarian, and releasing animals are three effective, practical, and easy to follow methods to minimize hatred and killing. If everyone can practice, then I think that building bees in the world will no longer be impossible, but on the contrary, bees will be established and this world will be a pure land in humanity. May the three treasures, triple gems, last long in the world. Pray for world peace and happiness for all sentient beings. That's the all I want to share with everyone today. Thank you. Mahachala Hong Kong Buddhist Universities uh, for organizing this important university. And thanks for IBSC, Department of Peace Study, for giving me the opportunity to share today. Sincere thanks to all listen 
to me personally. Namo Sakyamuni Buddha.